Now that we have the player unique IDs, we can use them to say that the fireball cannot kill its own player, the one throwing the fireball. How do we do this? Well, let's locate the script of the fireball. Inside of the pyro particles, you will see the prefab folder and then the script folder. Here, open the fire projectile script and the firebase script. Okay, so fire projectile script and firebase script. All right. Now, why do I have all of them open? Well, if you look down inside of the uh, fire projectile script, you will see there's already some uh, logic here for the player health inside of the handle collision. So basically, whenever there's a collision between the firebolt and another player, then this takes damage to 100. But let's put it to 20 for now. So only 20 damage because 100 damage kills the character. 20 will do for now. And what we want to do also is synchronize the damage. Um, but before we do so, we need to um, to give the damage. But I need to tell the, the server that there's damage that's do doing done to that player. So I need to send a command. And I need to create that command and send it here. So instead of doing the player take damage here, I would send the command. So like cmd tell server who got shot. So basically, we're telling every client who got shot. And then we got to put the name of the, of the player that got shot. How do we do this? Well, we can get the name through, um, through the player. So let's get the player. So player is equal to player health dot game object. Because the game object of the player health, the player health is attached to the, the player. All right. So and here we can use now the player dot get component so we're getting the, the, the unique ID and um, the unique ID will be the player ID dot player unique name remember we just did this oh by the way I need to put oh, open and close the uh, parentheses player unique name now the reason why you may not have autocomplete is because uh, we have not created the method command tell server who got shot yet. So just bear with me. And then the amount of damage. So I'm going to put 20 damage. All right. So now let's create this method. Now the reason why I cannot create the method yet is that this is a network command and this script right there is not uh, is a firebase script. It's not a network behavior, and um, I cannot just uh, change the Firebase script to a network behavior, but I can change the Firebase script to inherit from the network behavior. So I'm going to the Firebase script and then all the way up top, I'm going to change from mono behavior to network behavior. And to see network behavior, you got to put the using statement so using unity engine dot networking. Okay, I'm going to save this and now I'm going to go back to the fire project script. And now I'm going to be able to create my command. So somewhat, I believe right here. Yes. So here I'm going to press enter a few times and create my command command. And then I'm going to say void command tell server who got shot. And then we need a string, a unique ID. And then int the number of, of damage done, which would be 20 in this case. But we can change this anytime. And later on, we will create some kind of a variable instead of 20. We, uh, we can create that through, uh, through Unity. All right. So how do we tell the fact that this got shot? Well, we can say game object. Object. So obj is equal to game object dot find. And let's find the uh, player by its unique ID, unique ID. All right. And then we, we're going to say object dot get components. So we're getting the uh, player health component, player health component dot take damage. So now we're doing the damage. This was created in the uh, earlier, not in this uh, course, but the take damage was created from the single player um, shooter, take damage and the number of damage will be damage the one that's passed as a parameter here. OK, so that's pretty much it. Um, some of this uh, happens to be um, red because I have a couple errors here. Player. All right. And um, here wouldn't be player health. It would be a game object player. That's what it is. So game object 
player and now it's able to take this all right i can save that oh and by the way the damage needs to be uh, synced through all the servers so i'm going to go inside of the player health.cs so make sure you open the player health in unity which is inside of the iron man character and uh, look for the player health player health will be right here and i'm going to go all the way up and where it says current health which is a health i'm going to add sync var so that this becomes synchronized through all the servers all right now let's save that let's save the firebase script and the fire projectile all right and it's still complaining about the command but uh, that's okay let's see if i go back and um, and see if that that solves it okay it says command could not be found all right i'm going to add the unity networking so go back to fire projectile script and yes using unity engine dot networking all right save this all right now just for the sake of uh, learning um what we could do is print here the, the the player's health here so we could do uh we could print the player health right here we could do obj dot get component so we can just do just like here dot and here current health you guys see the current health so we can print that so print debug.log and let's log this so player health so every time it's going to get hit it's going to get the new value of the player health dot to string all right that's it so it's going to print that now um, we can add um, a, uh, some kind of a text to show that and I'm going to do that in the next lecture just for the sake of seeing this all right and the errors are gone all right so um, now that's it we are ready in the next lecture I'm creating a text so that we can see the actual player's health and test this and last but not least to make sure we are not hitting the firebolt he's not hitting the player that's throwing it Let's go to the uh, fire project and script. And here, inside of the take damage, we're going to make sure it's not the same player. So if, so we're getting the player, okay. So we're getting the player here and we're going to say if player dot, actually uh, we have player dot get component player ID, yes. Player dot, we can just reuse that. So if, player dot unique name is different than the uh, than this dot owner name now we don't have an owner name yet so we're going to create that so if it's different then we can do the damage if not we don't do the damage all right and uh, let's create the owner name I'm gonna go all the way up and here inside of the projectile I'm going to say public that would be a string owner name now let's create the owner name we need to set this up where do we set this up well whenever we are shooting the firebolt so go to the player shoot and after spawning the spawn projectile we're going to say that the current prefab object dot player name or by or by the way the reason why it's not uh, doing the player name we gotta get the component dot get component and the component would be the, uh, the, the uh, fire projectile script. Fire projectile script dot owner name is equal to, well, that would be um, this. So that would be transform dot name. All right. And now we can close that. All right. And that's set.